And um, Rabbi, what do you think about the times that we're living in right now? Everything that's going on this in this world, the war with Russia and Ukraine, uh, what's going on in Israel? What do you? What are your um, beliefs as, as of the t timing that we're at right now? Honestly, I, I, I'm very simple about this. Two thousand years ago, there were men who were looking at exactly the same situations that we're looking at and saying Yeshua is coming back any moment. A hundred years ago, they were looking at the same situation, you know, with the First World War, with the Second World War, with all the everything that's gone on. Uh, Bible students, Bible scholars, preachers have been saying any moment Yeshua could come back. The truth is someday someone will be right. But up until then, we're told to occupy until he comes. We're told to focus on ministry, focus on outreach, focus on sharing the gospel. We're not supposed to be running around afraid of what's going to happen next. We're supposed to be preparing souls for the kingdom. And we can get all caught up in what's going to happen. Is this the mark of the beast? Is this this? Is this that? When the reality is the Bible doesn't tell us to search out the mark of the beast. It doesn't say go spread the good news of the mark of the beast. It says spread the good news of Messiah. So do I look at the things around me and am I cognizant of the wars and rumors of wars, of the tsunamis, of the pestilence, of all those things? Absolutely. Can Yeshua return? Absolutely. But my concern is not when he will return. My concern is getting people ready for when he returns. Because 2,000 years ago, Peter and Paul and those guys were having these exact same conversations. Yes, and we see that in the Gospels, and they, as you mentioned, right, they believe he was going to come at any moment back then. So, uh, yes, definitely live a, a life uh, prepared and uh, preach the Gospel, as you, you mentioned. That's 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 so true, Rabbi. And Rabbi, uh, uh, I've been hearing, uh, listening to Messy Antics. I know that you and Rabbi David have this podcast. Can you tell us, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, called Messy Antics. It's our podcast. You can find it on all the places that podcasts are found. Uh, we've done, I think it's uh, 20, 30 something episodes now. It is myself, my son, Rabbi David, my assistant rabbi, Rabbi Jonathan, and his assistant rabbi, Rabbi Toby. So we have two Jewish rabbis, two non Jewish rabbis, and we discuss things from our backgrounds, our point of views, um, things about the Messianic movement, the antics. Uh, a lot of what we're talking about, where people get so sidetracked with the side issues that they miss out on the really important things. Like, it really doesn't matter if you're Jewish or non-Jewish. What matters is if you're right in standing before God. And so when we when we get sidetracked by calendars and dates and all of the peripheral issues, we lose track of the reality of what we're supposed to be doing. And we become divisive instead of unifying. Yes, yes, definitely, Rabbi. And where else can we reach out to you? If someone wants to reach out to you, where can they find you? What are your uh, social media pages, uh, your synagogue, uh, Facebook page? Uh, you can, my synagogue website is shalompensacola.com. And my social media, most of it, you can find me at Rabbi Eric T. Or rabbierict.com is my personal website where you can see uh, hundreds of blogs that I've written as well as all of the books that I've written are available there. You can subscribe to get my blogs by your email and, and all that there. So you can find that. And then Eric Tokager, very simply, for my my Facebook page and stuff. So my social media is largely under Rabbi Eric T, uh, but my personal stuff is under Eric Tokager. Wonderful, wonderful, Rabbi. Rabbi, I want to thank you so much. I know your time is uh, very valuable and you're a really busy person and I want to thank you for taking time for for this conversation, and I'm looking forward to keep on uh, keep in touch with you. Sounds great. I look forward to you. You have a great uh, great day, and uh, it's a blessing to be a uh, part of this. Thank you so much, Rabbi. God bless you, and shalom, shalom, shalom.